Hey, this is Nick from Income Digs, and I want to talk to you today about tax prep and tax prep season. Now, for too many of us, this is an extremely difficult time of year. It takes way too long to prep our taxes, right? And a lot of us are filing extensions, and we're dealing with our taxes way too late into the year. I want to talk about how we can take a proactive approach so that the next time we file our taxes, the next year end that we are recording, we have a process in place so that it doesn't take weeks. Instead, we can do it in hours. This is really the ultimate goal of setting up a good accounting system using QuickBooks Online to accomplish that. So that's what we're going to talk about. If you take five minutes with me today, I want to get you on the right path to ensuring that we have an easy tax season for the end of this year. What we're going to talk about here is that tax prep is obviously never fun. I'm not going to make that argument that it will ever be fun, but it does not have to be difficult. Okay, It's possible for this process to be easy, and it does not have to take weeks. As I mentioned, we can go from tax prep taking weeks two hours. And this was me. I spent hours and hours and hours and weeks and weeks and weeks prepping for taxes. Instead, now I have a system in place, which I'm going to demonstrate for you today, that I get it done in a few hours every single year. Now, everything I'm going to talk about today, we reference this in module four of our end-to-end -end accounting bootcamp, real estate accounting bootcamp. Check that out. This is where we go through this entire system. But let's get some quick wins as well. Proactive steps that we can take now to ensure that we have a really successful and less burdensome tax season are the following. One, get your balances up to date. Take some time. I know when you log in, you see things that are off that can be really frustrating. Take some time right now to look at your bank accounts, your credit cards, your loans. Let's get those balances up to date. Now you can go back in time and fix those transactions, do some reconciles. If it's way too late for that, well then use some open balance entries. We have some videos on how to do that. Get your balances right as of today so that starting right now, we can start tracking accurately moving forward. Employ a monthly or quarterly housekeeping checklist. I'm gonna show you an example of this shortly, but we wanna make sure that we are looking at our books certainly more frequently than monthly or quarterly, but monthly or quarterly, we wanna be looking at those key reports to ensure that our balances are up to date, our reports look like they should, and we can understand how our business is doing. Now, this is not just important for tax prep, this is important just as business owners in general. We should be looking at this consistently to ensure that our business is on track so that we can pivot if and when needed. Document and implement a system for day-to-day -day bookkeeping. We're gonna show you how I document things with a Lucid chart, and that's a process flow kind of technique to um, really show the entire flow in the picture uh, so that we know who is accountable for doing what at what time during the year. Log in regularly and don't be afraid of inaccurate data. Now, I am a perfectionist, so I am guilty of this. I'll log in, I'll see things that aren't accurate, and it'll really throw me off, but that's okay. We know that timing is an issue. You have to get used to being uncomfortable seeing those numbers not necessarily up to date. Hopefully, we're getting them up to date with the process we talked about in the earlier points, but don't be a afraid of those things not being accurate at all times. And lastly, hire a professional, but only hire a professional after you implement the system above and you understand the system yourself. I think that's absolutely key because a bookkeeper is not going to just make everything magical. Okay, You need to have some buy-in as the business owner as well to ensure that you know what's going on and you can transfer appropriately. All right, so let's see this in action. Let's talk about that recurring kind of checklist, that housekeeping checklist. I think this is a really easy task and a really um, revealing task for you to do. Go through the things that you might need to do on a daily, weekly, bi-weekly basis, monthly or quarterly to kind of keep your books in check and just document them. So what I'm showing here is a version of this for my businesses. Now I have multiple businesses, so you might see in here a few different business lines, okay? So this is kind of for everything. Maybe I should have a column in there to indicate the business so I can filter by that. But either way, uh, separating out what happens daily, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, and annually. Okay, now this annual checklist is what we use when we're thinking about actually closing out the books and prepping for our taxes. And I encourage you to create this, use Excel, use Google Sheets, something easy, and then potentially move that over to your task management system, okay? Think about, can we use some kind of system that has these recurring tasks in it so that um, we don't have to memorize it ourselves? So something like Asana, ClickUp, Monday.com, Trello, something like that, really nice and easy, build it into that type of a system. But really what this is doing is kind of an audit. Here's all the things that I have to do within my books, and here's the frequency with which I can do them. Now this is a more uh, line by line representation. I also encourage you to draw it out with pictures. All right, so what I'm showing here is kind of a process flow or an initial start of a process flow for a purchasing process, okay? So this is stuff that we have to do, we have to purchase. And so within that, we're onboarding our subcontractors, we have bids and selections, we have project bills, we have bill pay, and we have point of sale purchases. So each of these are kind of sub processes within purchasing. And then each of these, we're gonna build out 
something like this, a process flow. This is a swim lane, okay? I'm using Lucidchart to do this. You don't need to spend a ton of money on any kind of software. You can draw it out on a piece of paper. Either way, I think a visual representation is really helpful so you understand who is accountable within your business. Now, right now, it might just be you, and that's okay. Document what the future state would be. So, for example, if you don't have a project manager or controller separated out, just still identify those roles. And then for now, you happen to wear both hats, but as if and when you hire that person out, you're gonna be able to delegate. So represent that in this kind of flow chart. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm indicating who is doing what and at what point in time that all happens. And then we can start implementing that into our system. Now I mentioned that we talk about this in module four of Real Estate Accounting Bootcamp. Okay, so this is a kind of preview of Real Estate Accounting Bootcamp. This is our end-to-end -end course that we have available. Check it out for sure. But I just wanna show you what module four looks like. And these are all the items that we're gonna be talking through and that you should be thinking about, even if you're not in the course, these are the things that you should be doing to understand what is the day-to-day -day process within my business. When we add a new customer or property, tracking expenses, accounts payable, accounts receivable, all of that stuff. I want you to think about those processes and ensure that you and your business have that locked in. Here is what we do, here is when we do it, here is who is accountable for it and make sure you document all of that. So this is just a quick hitting video. I wanna make sure that we are in the right mindset to prepare ourselves right now for prepping for taxes. Take that proactive approach so that at year end, when you're prepping your taxes for this past year, you're not pulling your hair out, right? I want you to be investing more, getting more deals and spending less time reconciling in QuickBooks Online. And I think all that it takes is a strategy and some time to think about what that strategy should look like to ensure that we are making the right decisions. So check out all the free available uh, resources we have at IncomeDigs.com. Also check out this course, Real Estate Accounting Bootcamp 3.0. Comment here, let me know what kind of task checklist you use, what kind of software you use. Let me know what kind of questions you have. If you have any questions about um, this here, we're gonna make this available to download. If you wanna use this as a sample, go ahead and do that. All right, be sure to subscribe as well so that you're always getting updates. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.